have seen that they haven't got two of their top three scorers starting today, which of course can only hopefully bode well for us. Um, but I was uh, listening to a few of their staff talking just for the game uh, whilst you'd popped off quickly and I heard them saying that they're quite a, uh, a team that maybe has a really bad performance one week and a really good performance the next and he said that last week against Slough was quite a poor performance so they're quite hopeful for today but you never know and as you mentioned these difficult sides can uh, of course upset the party a little bit but I'm, I'm thinking a, a, a Maystone win but it's going to be a hard fought scrappy one in my opinion. Rory Deacon's out on the left and Christy Pastinu's out on the right of the front three at the moment. Whether that will change throughout the game as Craig King picks it long. Joe Alou's underneath it, wins the header. But it comes back again. Joe Alou goes header but misses it. But Stone's come away with the ball with Regan Booty. Again, tries a long ball for Christy Patterson. He picks it up on the inside of the area. Looks for a shot, palmed away by Craig King. And cleared by a herald, but only for Sam Paul. Free kick now. Yep, gives a chance for another ball to go into the box from Hemel Hempstead. It's headed away by Joe Allall. Sam Paul picks up the loose ball, plays it down the line. Both Rory Deacon trying to keep it in, he has kept it in. Just got Dan Wishart there, he plays it inside to. You know, it's just not got there, Sam Paul. And he's played forward. He's onside. Do, he's onside. Oh. Well. Wow, Nigel. Yeah, that's, uh, exactly. He was on. He was in there. He had to. I had to slide the ball past Tom Hadler, but he chose to lay it inside. And uh, out onto the left-hand side. Menton tries to play it forward to Hemel. Dan Wishart, but he can't control the ball. Michael Phillips comes away with it, tries to play the cross-field pass to Roy Deacon, who gets the ball, he's got one man to beat. There's Roy Deacon on the edge of the area, coming in the left-hand side, puts the ball in, Christy Patterson scores off the underside of the bar! It's still in play! Oh, Christy Patterson coming in there, over on the, the right-hand side, first time shot, but it come down off the cross. None of our attackers are applying that pressure there. Played in the centre circle, Maytown trying to win it but not being successful. And it's back out to Scott Morris on his right hand side. He tries to play the ball, ball over the top. He does play the ball over the top. And it's played inside but Finn Williams is there to turn it out for uh, Emil's corner. Tried to flick forward from Hemel. But Regan Booty is there, tries to play the cross field pass to Roy Deacon. Roy Deacon gets it. He's got two Hemel players on him. Played it back to Binion Williams, back to Rory Deacon, he's got space now, he looks up. Played it back inside to Binion Williams, which I don't think he was quite expecting. Binion Williams trying to hold the ball, as he does with his strength. Back to Rory Deacon, but he loses out, but he's still with Rory Deacon. He has a shot, it's a deflection! Ooh. No deflection, says no. the referee, but it's a good shot nonetheless. It was a good shot there, yeah. With it, trying to play it out from the back, but they're under pressure from Rory Deacon and Jack Burham in there. Rory Deacon played it. Jack Burham won the ball there. Jack Burham with a cross. No one's there. Yes! yes! What a finish from Sam Corn. Yes, bobbled around in the box there. There's, there's fans on the pitch, they've fallen over the barrier. But uh, I don't blame them because what a lovely strike into that bottom corner there from Sam Cole, wasn't it, Nigel? It was, yeah. I couldn't quite see it from my position here with the linesman standing in front of it. But the ball was popping around in the area and it fell to Sam Cole. And he got a Jerome again looking to take. He plays it into Roy Deacon who's being held. But he's challenging for the ball. Plays it out to Jack Barham. Oh Jack Barham flicks the ball in. Tries to for the top corner. He's got oh it! My oh my God! Sensational! What a goal by Jack Barham there! He turned on the edge of the area and shot the ball and right into the top right-hand corner. Whether it got caught in the wind or not, it's a brilliant strike there. Oh, it's jaw on the floor stuff, isn't it, Nigel? Just before the uh, additional time ball goes up, can't quite make out how much that is. Hopefully, the uh, oh, it's a one-minute added time there. But uh, it's 2-0 to Maidstone, and as Nigel just said, what a sensational finish That's from Jack strike. Barham. 
Charlie Hughes has moved up front, forward. Maystone tried to come forward with the ball through Gavin Hoyt, plays it out to Christy Patterson down his right hand side. Christy Patterson tries to beat his man Dan Wishaw, he pushes the ball in, but there's no one there. It's overhit it. Roy Deacon's trying to keep the ball in, and he does keep the ball in right over on the far side in the corner flag. He tries to do oh his man, he does word. do his Look man. He's go. Been good ball by Roy, good play by Roy Deacon there, but he just couldn't get the pass away. But it's still with Maystone there. Been on Williams over the far side, tries to twist and turn. Oh he's my two word. Man. He does twist and turn. He's inside the box. He played it oh down. My oh, word. yes. That is phenomenal. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> What's a bit of play there by Bidon Williams with the assist. Sam Cole finished it off, but it was all about Bidon Williams winning that ball there over on the far side. He beat two men with his feet, put the ball in for Sam Cole, who just had the job of putting it into the net. And it's now 3 0 to Maidstone. Sam Corn's got two, and Jack Barham has got one. Well, Joseph. It's liquid football, Nigel. Oh. Rory Deacon with some fantastic footwork, getting in in the first first instance. Ball comes back out on the left-hand side to Ben on Williams, and simply sublime feat. I mean, we've seen it all season. This is one of the reasons that he is a cult hero here at Maidstone, not only for his pure football and ability, but his technical ability as well. He's fantastic with his feet. seated stand so a lot of them are around the dugout down the sides as well opposite the dugouts where we're sitting Ooh. good clearance there from Tom Padda well it's 25 minutes to go Ooh. oh good save there from Tom Padda palm the ball over the crossbar it's a corner for Emil Hempstead Intercepted by Regan Booty. What plays a 1 2 with Jack Barham? Regan Booty played it forward, done the challenge. Good challenge. Good challenge there from Hemel Hempstead. As Mantom comes away with the ball, plays a 1 2. Out to Dan Wishart. Dan Wishart. Looking to put the ball in with his left foot, but he puts it across field ball. Out onto the far side, inside back to Mantom. He's looking, he's going to have a shot. He has had a shot, but it's high and it's wide. And has had a look and it going over. Gives a shout to these players for not closing down, but yeah, constantly singing throughout this second half, bouncing up in that stand there. And it's been your Williams over on the far side, plays it inside to Sam Corn, who plays it inside to a ring boot, who proves a cross field pass into Chrissy Patton, who's got space down the right hand side, slips, but he still's got the ball into the box now. Chrissy Patton, Chrissy Patterson. Christy Patterson shoots, palmed away by Saunders and kicked out by Hemel for a throw into Maystone. Yep, long ball forward looking for Hadi Gandor, but it's won by Hemel Hempstead. Michael Phillips heads the ball to Sam Corn, who plays it out to Christy Patterson down the line to Hadi Gandor. Hadi Gandor will be back to goal, he turns now. Cross field ball to Michael Phillips, get back to goal, he turns, looks forward, but he can't create space. Again, skill from Bill on Williams! Oh, 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 oh. Bill on Williams! Another bit of sublime skill there on the edge of the box. He created the space for himself and put it to the right hand side of Saunders. And oh, what a goal there, Joseph. Pandemonium in the away end, and I can understand why, as you say, sublime skill once more from Bill on Williams. And he was encouraged to shoot a couple minutes ago, and he's encouraged to shoot again this time. And he has done so, and he managed to get it off as a lovely kind of curled finish into that left hand side of the goal the keeper again couldn't quite get to it and it is 4-0 to Maidstone so Bidon Williams again with the throw he played it to Roy Deacon he played it back to Bidon Williams beats his man Roy Deacon with the throw Roy Deacon get Roy Delacobe plays it down the line We've had Gandor, but it's won by Hemel Hempstead. It's back to Bill Williams, who's few from the crowd. But 
So he plays a lovely ball wow. out to Matthew Patterson, who plays it inside to Sam Corn. And he makes really the NBA for really using coach to shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, Ooh. just couldn't see the keeper there. As we all do, leads to the ultimate goal. But here, yeah, and that is the goal. That is it. So uh, it finishes here at Vauxhall Road. Hemel Hempstead nil. Baystone United 4. A thoroughly wonderful performance from the Stone throughout the team. Two goals from Sam Corn, one from Jack Barham and a wonderful goal from Jack Benon Williams. It's been a complete team performance here. Clean sheet. And uh, one more game kicked off.